the thing is, if I do the intro as I used to, you're going to make fun of me for being a circus ringleader. Um, what if I don't do that? I would be more willing to do it. It's a deal. Hey everyone, welcome to Playing Favourites, the podcast in which I and my good friend Harry discuss our favourites in a variety of different topics. Why is my voice fluctuating so much? We may never know. Today, we are talking about weather phenomena. Uh, phenomena, surely. Phenomena. Not just one. Doobie doobie. Phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> phenomena. Yeah, but presumably more than one. Um, you did say weather. We're talking about weather phenomena. We're not. We're talking about the, the weather. Phenomenon. Minimum of two. We're talking about unless no. You know, actually, unless we have the same favorite, which we could do, I suppose. You know, it's mm. it's going to be at least more than one. Well, we would also have to only talk about that weather phenomena. It's quite unlikely. The entire. It's quite unlikely to happen. But it, is, it's on the card. Which one is singular? Which one is plural? Uh, phenomena. phenomena. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. No. Um, a the phenomena plural, like bacteria or you know, stadia. Uh, like, I I never considered that fact. Phenomena. 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 Okay. Right. We're talking about weather phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> we're not going to phenomenons. Don't don't start again actually because before before we you before you did the intro you bargained with me and said uh, I'll only do the old intro if you promise not to call me a circus ringleader to which I agreed but I think that's actually the least yeah least I ringleader so. I didn't you've go ever with done hello it. yeah you're just like hey hey guys oh, welcome hey. to playing favorites like it was cool it was friendly it yeah, felt like I was I, being welcomed to the show we're, as opposed we're to all, <laughs> rather than welcome to the show <laughs> <laughs> yeah so and now and now I feel like I'm in I feel like I'm ready to record okay, my favorites. Well. That's good. Um, it's put me at ease. Doing that right now. Okay, fantastic. Uh, uh, do you want to keep it traditional to the format? Do you want to, you know, take us in? Do you want to carry us into the definition? Do you want to, like, yeah? Uh, let's talk about weather phenomenon. Um, dude, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly start saying the word worse and worse. First <laughs> of all, let's clarify. Harry, do you want to guess my favorite weather from them? Phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> I can't on here. Are you doing that? Wait, phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomena. Okay. Phenomenon. Do do be do. Um. Okay, there is a list of severe weather phenomena. I, I was going to say, I've just Wikipedia. pulled this. Just pulled this up. Oh my Which, god. What does severe mean in this context? I actually. What the um, fuck is harmful algal bloom? <laughs> I don't want to think about algal's bloom. If I'm being honest. Al algal bloom is algal? excessive algae b- growth. Oh, I bet there are some. Cra- Hang on, before we get to the crazy ones, we t- we t- t- like talk about normal ones. Yeah, because like I suppose, I mean, I love the weather. I think weather is such a, a fantastic, like, just unnecessary. Th- like, if you were cra- if you were writing the universe, you know, you were coming up with it, and yeah. like Earth specifically, it just feels like such a whimsical thing to just throw in. Like, yeah, it's just gonna like like rotate through different states. Like, it's just gonna you know, we just have like different things going on like in different areas every day. It just seems yeah. so fun, like, and you yeah. know, there, there, weather is both ha- extremely positive and extremely happy, you know, just things, <laughs> and then also terrible and and fuck shit up and and yeah. yeah, will destroy civilization literally. Um, so there's a lot like to it, I guess. Like in general, weather phenomenon. I mean, I guess we're talking about like you know everything in between, right? We're talking about rain. We're talking about intense rain. We're talking about mist. We're talking about you know. Fire storms. We're talking about yeah, yeah, like everything. Right. That's the thing. Some of the stuff is like you know very normal. Like even you know a a clear day. Yeah. Right. It's weather. And and then like yeah you know, yeah as you say rain pretty mm. normal one that happens yeah. clouds fog um and then we have uh pulse storms <laughs> um yeah this um. <laughs> Like, I'm re- now that I'm looking at this page, I have not heard of half of these things. Yeah, actually, what some it- of them just sound like... <laughs> some of them sound like apocalyptic. Yeah, heat burst. <laughs> Polar cyclone. Wait, oh what about, God. like, meteors? Is that a f- weather phenomenon? I, honestly, I would... I guess... I would I would say so. I'd call it that, yeah. No, what I would, okay. Uh, well, Harry, we've, we've fallen under our favourite segment of the show. Go on. What is a we- what is weather? Yeah, I swear, like, God, what is weather is an incredibly difficult. I don't know. What what would you I, say? What would you? I kind of assumed that weather was, you know, the the definition of meteorological meteorological events. That occur. To your question, meteors. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Meteorological events that occurred due to the, uh, you know, the variety of different pressure and temperature uh, systems occurring throughout the planet, right? So, by that logic, an asteroid is not weather. <laughs> I suppose not. But I almost just want to... Yeah, I, if I, I don't know if you can... I feel like maybe like a... A meteor... Weather. Like a meteor storm? Like if, you know, one explodes in the atmosphere and showers down areas of, like, I guess it rock. is meteorological. Kind of, right? Like, I, you know, I would almost... I don't know. I feel like there's definitely... I mean, the, the definition I'm looking at right now is on Google. The state of the atmosphere at a particular place in time as regards heat, cloudiness, dryness, sunshine, wind, rain, etc. <laughs> Which, okay, which, <laughs> and they, they like started strong and then started listing things and they were like, there's far too many things that we could list here, lads, and then just tack the etc. I on. I guess, I guess we're not looking for meteor, are we? Because asteroid is if it hits Earth, oh, right? Uh, because Me- yes. meteors are just in space. In space, whereas an asteroid, yeah. Is that the right, was that the right way around? No, because meteorites are like, because you don't have ast- asteroid, right? Meteorites, aren't they just like the, the little bits? Like Meteorites are a little one. Why is this um, our first port of call? Okay, what about... Okay, what... A, is is impact winter a weather phenomenon? Impact winter being the, re, the you know, definition of uh, the kind of winter that would occur due to the large amounts of ash spewed into the atmosphere from a meteor or asteroid. Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the, when you start talking about that, that reminds me of, like, like nuclear winters and stuff. Yeah. Like, you is know, that a weather phenomenon? Uh, <laughs> which I, yeah, I feel like that is, you know. Like, the yeah, the ash caused from, yeah, nuclear bombs or fucking meteorites or, yeah, anything like that. Yeah, I mean, that is, that feels almost like baseline. Defin- I'm going as- to, I'm going to narrow it down. Definitely not my favourite, but. Okay. You know. I, I don't want to, I quite like them. I don't want to. What you like? <laughs> you like nuclear winter? Every time there's a nuclear winter, I get really excited. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Okay. I think I almost want to. I'm always tempted to just ditch the sort of scientific, founded explanation and go with something a little bit more free form and a little bit more like, you know, I, I would say that weather yeah. is just the like Weather's natural state. Yeah. Of the natural, as in like you know, with regards to nature and you know, yeah, yeah, th- yeah. not man-made stuff. The sort of natural state of of uh you know an area of the earth in an area of and that yeah, could be yeah. that could be whatever that could be man made from a nuclear winter or it could just be it's raining right now or it could be um you know and that, and that does encompass all the things and then when it comes to like the meteor the meteor conundrum the you know the meteor controversy sure why not like that, that can fall under it you know if one's falling from the sky it's falling from the sky like rain does sure let's let's yeah. include it why not i mean it's like a shooting star weather i think it do- I think it does have to be in the Earth's atmosphere. Like, I don't okay, think it can be... So. Yeah, like, wow, Wait. look at that supernova. Aren't most shooting stars in atmosphere? Oh, burning... Uh, some some definitely can be, or some can just be passing nearby. Sorry, I've, I... This page of list of severe weather phenomenon is... I actually wish I had never opened this page now. <laughs> There's so much that I've never heard of that I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of feel suddenly way out of my depth. Could we? Uh, do you know any meteorologists we can call in? Because like, fuck me, I'm looking at, I'm looking at dust devils. Uh, uh, look, I did ha-boob. get my meteorology. <laughs> yeah, Haboob. Ha- Haboob. <laughs> um, I got my meteorology badge in, in Scouts. So okay, Haboob actually looks terrifying. By the way, if you look at it. Yeah, no, it, it looks like some kind of like scary dust storm. It looks like if um. There was a new Spider-Man movie, and Sandman was the main villain. Like, this is what he would be doing. Yeah, they just made him look, like, really realistic, as opposed to, like... He's just... It's just a big cloud, right? Yeah, a big cloud of sand. Yeah, I Um, I don't know. I mean... But then how is that different? I'm also seeing listed here Dust Devils and Sandstorms. Dust Devils, they're, like, the ones that spin around, right? They're, like, tornadoes, but... You know what these remind me of? You know what what all weather reminds me of? Go on. Beyblades. Because okay, all like, weather, all weather. You know, you think I'm just going to be talking about tornadoes. A volcanoes weather is a volcanic eruption weather. I would say yes. <laughs> I, I would say yes. I would say yes. I I would probably say it's not weather, but it causes weather. I think okay, how, but how uh, if it is spewing lava? It, well, okay, is an earthquake weather? No, because that's not happening in like the atmosphere. <laughs> it's happening under it. Yeah. Whereas like. You know, if a volcano... I'm thinking in, like, a cartoon when it blasts lava into the sky. <laughs> Not like, you know, when it sort of is overflowing over the top. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. If it is blasting lava into the sky like a cartoon and raining it down, sure. Mm. Um, otherwise, I assume in real life, yeah, I guess the the ash cloud. I would call call that That's weather. weather. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've just seen <laughs> at the bottom of this or near the near the bottom of this Wikipedia page. Other, we have heat lightning and heat zud. And zud. Zud is actually just sad. I was reading it. Oh. I was like, oh, I might bring this up. And then I looked at it. I was like, oh, this is just Wide, sad. Widespread livestock death. Yeah, that's a bit sad. But <laughs> it's just... Yeah. It no, doesn't I th- really even feel like weather. I f- it's <laughs> really? Just- I don't know how that's in effect. Yeah, relevant. But um, No, my Beyblade analogy, I think... Because um, Beyblades are all about like locking together different pieces and they're all modular. And I feel like weather is somewhat modular in that like... Um, you just you know, for exa- take an element. So, like, you'll have... Is, is you know, something falling from the sky? If so, yeah. what? Uh, is that, you know... Uh, so, cyclones and tornadoes. In you your have, case, like, re- lava. <laughs> lava, yeah. Um, tornadoes, you got, you know, the wet, the snow ones, the heat ones, the wind ones. Um, mm. Yeah, polar... So, cyclones, you've got tornadoes polar cyclones. Tornadoes are quite tropical elemental. Zone. You're correct. Yeah. yeah, there's a sort of elemental nature to it, you know. You've got um, different kinds of rain. You know, you've got gales and monsoons and torrential rain and... And all that, uh, and all that, they're, they're all sort of different severity. So you've got like, oh god, you can almost do one of your stupid like alignment charts with like severity yeah. and element, it's and then true, you know, very true. Uh, maybe like a third dimension, but I think it's a little bit complicated. So what is a supercell? Oh, I've heard of them. They make Clash of Clans. A- no, they, they are, but they are a. It's like a wind thing, isn't it? It's like a, it's a rotating thunderstorm. That's sick. So many of these are, are cool. I don't know if it is, and and also like. A lot of Sounds these, scary. yeah, right. It's scary, and that's one thing I really enjoy about weather is the sort of um, fire world. Yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds like a Beyblade. Hu- humans' relationship to weather, because I, I was talking to my sister about um, yeah. about pathetic fallacy. I think that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. That, pathetic yeah, yeah. fallacy, I think, is a bit more general usually, but it's often used in relation to weather. In that it's mm-hmm. like, Correct. and it's it's title you know comes from like pathos is the Greek for like feeling or something I can't remember. Um, yeah, not like pathetic. Is it's in, pathetic. Uh, yeah, you got him. No, I mean like so so pathetic. I see is like <laughs> often weather in, in so with it being relevant to weather, weather being used in media to convey feeling. So for example, it's yeah. a sad scene. The main character is about to split up with their partner. It's very sad. So oh, look at them. Oh, they're in the rain. Look at them. They're all miserable. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Car drives by, splash, you know. Whereas, like, they're gonna go break up with their partner, and it's a lovely sunny day. They just it changes the yeah. mood, like it, you know. It it's weird though because that'll often happen with like rain and clear skies, right? Not very often, volcano. <laughs> they should try that more often. I feel. I was about to go break up with my partner, and then a volcano started. <laughs> Kind of, it does change the mood, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, it does affect things. <laughs> you know, um, I do wonder if you know any descendants of people from the Pompeii region. Like, I, you know, I don't know. I hope this isn't <laughs> distasteful. Uh, <laughs> you know, but <laughs> we have <laughs> Look, volcanoes do happen in the modern day. I mean, there was, you know, uh, yeah, there's that Icelandic one like a couple of years ago that fucked up all them. Planes. I remember I was on a school trip when that happened. Here you go, here's an anecdote, everyone. Hopefully not on a plane. No, no, I was on a, I was on a <laughs> bus, right? Here you go, here's it. It's anecdote time. We've stumbled across an anecdote. Go. I was on a school trip. Thankfully, my reading that week, I would have been like year three, which is about eight. No, oh God. I would have been young, primary school. Um, I don't know exactly what year yeah. it was. Thankfully, my reading for that week, I had picked out a book on volcanoes by wow. random happenstance. And I was reading it, and so I felt like I was the beacon of knowledge for everyone on this school trip if something went wrong with yeah. the volcano. Everyone's talking about it. It's in the news for some reason. Suddenly there's lava, like, pouring down exactly. the street. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a, a beacon of survival knowledge. No. Um, thankfully, I wasn't in Iceland at the time. I was at school in England. And so I've got all this knowledge. I feel like I know what to do. I'm, and I'm trying to come up with a survival plan because I know the grown-ups are all talking about an ash cloud. Okay, so if it's going to come over, it's going to be in the The lava won't make it over here. The ash will. Okay. Well, I know from science that trees make oxygen. Okay, so I get near a tree and that will give me oxygen. <laughs> and then what I'll do, I need to keep the ash out. So if I can get some kind of box and put it on my head, then that will keep out the ash. And if I stand near a tree, that will give me oxygen. But how long am I going to need to stand near this tree with a box in my head? Well, I'm going to need food and drink if possible. So if I can get a loose lid on a bowl and put that in the box on my head, and then also sort of half unwrap some chocolate bars, I can put them in the box on my head as well, and then sort of, as need be, tilt the box to, you know, navigate the chocolate or the water into my mouth while I'm, while I'm sat near the tree. 
And if all of this goes together and all this works, I should be able to survive a volcanic eruption <laughs> and following Ash Cloud was my plan on this school trip. Wow. I mean, you were really for for as a child. You know, uh, I think you would have made it at least you know, <laughs> look, couple, living off of Fredo's and Evian, you know, sat near a tree. Yeah. <laughs> the tree really would have I feel like, you. you know, sure, the pieces are there. Um, you know, the oxygen idea is cute. Uh, I wouldn't. I'm curious as to no part of your brain was like, maybe I should go inside a building. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't think that might keep the ash out. Yeah, but the buildings are all going to. The buildings would have. They're going to get all ashy. Yeah, yeah. And, ah, here we go. The buildings are going to be the, the hotspots. There's going to be a civilization's going to collapse. There's going to be collapse. so many yeah. people in all their buildings. Resor- there's going to be no resources. There's going to be no oxygen. Probably their houses, if I had to guess. But the houses are going to be overrun. People think about all the people in the street. They're all going to be trying to get inside, leaving all the trees available for for an eight year old, <laughs> and, uh, and maybe other eight year olds in my class. I don't know how many, how many cardboard boxes we're going to be able to find to get yeah, one did in. Did you did you share this plan with the rest? I of I think class maybe a couple of friends I was sat with on the coach. I do want. Yeah, I'm sort of imagining it like the like the um, the opening of Fallout Four. Like you know, we're tr- we're trying <laughs> to get everyone into the vaults, or in this case, get the cardboard boxes from everyone's heads, just as we can see the ash cloud coming. It's like it would have been really sad if you just didn't get enough boxes. Oh my really. god, yeah, and we're having to like, and you just had to watch one of your friends get devoured by ash. Wouldn't have to watch. Wouldn't be able to see. Head in box. Oh, I kind of assumed it was one of those boxes that has like a handle, so you could peek through it. <laughs> well, like a um, box with a hand, like a like a box of bottles of wine. Yeah, maybe. Um, you know, like in Metal Gear, how he's got, always got those little holes in it that you can look. Through. Oh, a little. Oh, I know what you mean. Okay, I could peep. No, because then the ash is going to get in my eyes. Look, you haven't thought this through at all. I had this. Fi- <laughs> Look, I had this fixed fifteen years you ago. You could put cling film over it. Where am I getting the cling film from? On a school trip. Where are you getting the box there's from? Box, there's box, boxes. Boxes are more common than cling film. I'd be able to find some somewhere. I don't, that is the weak point of the plan, is where I'm going to source the boxes. You did, where are you going to get the box? Yeah. But, um, you know, assuming we get... Okay, well, I think we should do this for other weather phenomena. How to survive them. Well, I came up with that mm-hmm. idea as when I was, like, you know, as, as a child. Yeah. Well, so, like, what do you think you would do now as a, as a fully... If there was a volcano, a volcanic eruption. If a, a volcano erupts in Iceland. <laughs> oh, so um, wait, are, we dealing, are we dealing with so, ash? Or are we dealing with, I think what it should be, right... Nottingham City Centre, okay. right where we're both based, yes. Old Market Square suddenly mm-hmm. is torn apart by the by the creation of a new volcano. By the volcano, okay. Yeah. Lava blasts okay. out. We're both sort of mm-hmm. in or around our houses, so there's lava to worry okay. about at some point, and there's an ash cloud right. now above Nottingham. Well, what do you do, Luke? I've already got the foundation okay. of a plan. What's your first port call? I th- well, you've just introduced lava into the yes. equation, which I think definitely ruins the tree plan. It could be on a hill. <laughs> it's true. Could yeah. be on a hill. Oh, this is this is a tricky one because I don't really want to stay in my house if there's lava. Yeah. Obviously, you know, a lot of transport is going to be disrupted. <laughs> I don't know if the tram's going to be running. Um, this, you know. I do. Do I live on a hill? Not really. No. The That'd triangle shrinks. <laughs> it's so true. Um, I think okay. So well, we've got the ash mostly taken care of. So th- dealing with the lava. Yeah, I've got I've got the box. Could we construct that, some kind of vessel? There's boxes in my house. Could we construct some kind of vessel? Um, how hot how is lava? Hot is lava? <laughs> Probably quite. How hot is lava? About seven hundred to one thousand two hundred and fifty degrees. You kidding Celsius. me? Fucking my oven goes up to two hundred. <laughs> okay, there's another question here asked on Google. Can lava <laughs> melt your bones? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I saw that seconds before you read it. Um, I'm going to assume yes. So we could, we're ruling out bones as a as a way of constructing it. I'm wondering because okay, the answer is no. Can't melt your bones. They won't melt. Okay. Why I think they... no matter what heat you get the bones to. Well, it um, seems like your dogs aren't going to be. It would be your your bones would be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering because you wouldn't need but... much. You wouldn't need much like metal. Oh, that's going to get quite hot, though. Yeah, the thing, the issue you would have is that, you know, that you might be able to create a barrier between yourself and the lava, but that barrier is then also going to get quite hot and probably cook you. Yeah, you know what? I almost feel like... You've just, you've created your own oven. Yeah. And you are the turkey. Yeah. You know, I almost want to say that lava is a lost cause. <laughs> is, is lava hotter than the sun? Is lava hotter than turkey? It's a good question. I, yes. Right. Yeah, wait, no, 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 it isn't hot in the sun. That's insane. The sun is like a thousand million yeah, degrees. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. This was just a good okay. question. <laughs> I see. I think 
dealing with the heat. I don't think it's a lost cause. You know what? I actually think, well, unless you can, like, get away quickly. Well, the, the, the thing with lava, right, is that it cools very quickly. Yeah, right? actually, yeah. So, I actually think lava wouldn't be a huge concern. Okay. Even if it was Nottingham City Centre. Yeah, okay. Because um, unless you live, you know, in Subway. Yeah. You're probably all right. They closed that subway down. So by the sorry way. if you. Do they closed that subway down. Subway. The one near Old Market Square. Are you kidding? It's a falafel place now. I think. Are you remember? There's two like there was two really close, and they closed down the more convenient one. Um, street view. Yeah, no, it's it's like a falafel place. I think. Sorry, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, is, I know that was your. I can't believe I found out this one. Your volcano, your volcanic escape plan was to <laughs> was factoring in some way. Yeah, but no, it doesn't work out. I'm afraid. So, um, yeah, I feel like you, oh as long God. as you can dodge the heat for long enough to cool, you're probably all right. Ash cloud, yeah, some kind of ventilator box. There you go. I'm, I'm going to upgrade it to sort of adult. You know, instead of it being Fredo's and Evian in a cardboard box, it's now ventilator. If you can construct that in time, you're safe from the ash. How about the cold? Not in the lava example. We're, mo- we're moving to a new example. Like, like, like an avalanche. <laughs> um, let's say, right, this, here's the situation. Um, snow, here we go. Right, we've got a... Oh my god, you're right. We've got a snownado. The subway's gone. Um, <laughs> we've got a snownado coming in, Luke. Snownado, right, let me have a look. Or maybe a... S- or maybe a s- no, it is a, it is a snownado. A s- not a snow devil. Not a snow devil, it's a snownado. Mm, okay, um, snow... Is there a rare instance of a water spout forming under the base of a snow squall? It's been really mm-hmm. snowy in Nottingham. Out of the middle of Old Market Square, boom! There's a there's a big eruption and like whatever the f- a, a, a snow snownado has occurred. I assume it's like like a like a cyclone or a tornado, but it's full of snow. Yeah, yeah it uh, seems, seems to be. be. Well, what I'm reading, isn't creates a lot of fog apparently. Don't these only happen on water? Yeah, we found it turns out there's an underground lake that Old Market Square built. <laughs> like has there's been like a just those, uh, like a sinkhole has opened up. Yeah, yeah, and out of it has emerged a snownado. But it feels like so long as I'm not in the water, I'll well, the be thing okay. Is, like, these things move, you know. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure as soon as okay. it moves off the water, here it is. No, no, no. That's, in that case, Luke, you're in Old Market Square. When it happens, oh shit! So you're there. Um, I've fallen in. You've not fallen in. You were you were at you were visiting the the site of the recently deceased subway, and you're and you turn <laughs> around just as it collapses. Um, it's very cold. It's snowy already. You know, it's a snowy day out. Um, mm-hmm. It's a bit, a bit foggy, a bit misty. It's a proper snow haze, and all of a sudden, so it, crunch. Is the is the falafel place fully enclosed? Yes, and then I would probably stay inside. No, you're outside it. You're outside it. It's closed. Well, it's a I, Sunday. I, shit, it's five PM on a Sunday. Fuck. Snownado takes shape in in the middle of mm-hmm. Old Market Square. Uh, it's spinning around. Wind, snow, ice. Um, maybe. I think I die. I think I'm dead. I think I've died. Well, I'm thinking like what you've got to worry about here is heat and Dying. and f- fragments, ice. Yeah, like ice blast. Yeah, hail, things like that. Right. Yeah. Um, no, you're right. Which are very easy to, you know, I don't know. Can you get like deadly hail? I suppose in situations where hail yeah, is absolutely, deadly, yes, it's because it's it's like big hail, right? Like that's the problem. It's, yeah, very large. So if you can create some kind of shield, you know, maybe like um like, like a, a road like sign a, in like Captain uh, yeah, America, I, like, like, hid hid behind a car or something. Yeah, but then I would be concerned about the car just getting. I guess if the car's getting picked up, then like what am I going? What hope do you have? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Maybe, um, yeah. I think I think you need to like anchor yourself um, with like to like some kind of I don't know. Do we have fire have hydrants in this country? Myself. Like, I have phone booth. A phone booth. The, uh, you could just get I'd into- hide inside a phone booth. I suppose at that point, yeah, you saw it. I mean, it, unfortunately, it's not 1963 anymore, so they're not quite as readily accessible. Uh, no, as they once were. But so there might be like eight people in this one phone. Booth. Oh, guys, they're gonna. Yeah, this is the. Well, we've now got the the the. The tree, the the lava problem again. The lava. Everyone's going to be going to a phone Everyone's going to be again. I think. Yeah. I need something original. Something Anchor. What else is going to do? Yeah. Grab onto like a, a, yeah, maybe one of the um, you know, signs that tell you when the next tram's coming. Um, because I tie myself to one of those. Well, they are quite near the, quite near Old Market Square. You might be, you might, yeah, you want to fall like into the lake. Fallen in. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But you know, ground yourself with something. Get a mask over your face. <laughs> That's this, you know, very contemporary yeah, advice yeah. anyway. And then get some kind of shield. 
to protect against ice and stuff. Because I feel like I would probably break into the falafel place. Now that I'm thinking. About oh yeah, it. you could just like smash your way in with the with your shield. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be like that upset. Yeah, there has just been like a cataclysmic it feels accident. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the entirety of this center of Nottingham is collapsed in. Not many <laughs> people are going to be using this falafel place yeah. anytime soon. Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like um, this isn't something we usually need to worry about. The extent of my concern about weather is usually, uh, is it is it going to rain today? Yeah, like do I want to risk? How windy? Is what it? degree of coat do I need? You know, mm. like um, is it a light jacket, a hoodie? A coat. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to find out how many people have died from hail. Fuck me. Okay, I don't. I've only hail's a rare occurrence for us. I don't. I don't oh really see God. much. One of the deadliest hailstorms of all all time killed at least two hundred and thirty people. Just say, like, genu- That's what horrifying. So, you know, terrible incident. Um, I naturally yeah. have a few questions about it. I don't want to seem insensitive. It is yes. obviously awful. Yeah, 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 of course. You know. You get to five dead, right? Yeah. Are, are people not moving inside? I think that was partially the issue. Was that there wasn't an inside? Is that the, the, the structures that they had were not built to withstand the level of hail. Oh, my was, God. Uh, yeah. Wait, so it, was, it was like coming through the roof. Well, it says one of the deadliest hailstorms of all time in Uttar Pradesh, which is in northern India. Okay. Uh, the hailstorms were... Hailstones were reportedly as big as oranges. Jesus. And in some areas piled up to two feet high. Oh my god. No warning system exists in 1888. Yeah. And therefore the death toll of this event was exceptional. Uh, okay, high. yeah, I suppose and I suppose if the buildings aren't um Yeah, god, that's that is honestly, that's some that is in- incredibly scary. If if the buildings Oh my god. What? It, 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 a hailstorm that happened in 1490. 1490. In China. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that may have been due to a large comet breaking up in the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, sources generally considered reliable say more than 10,000 Oh my god. were killed. What the fuck? So wait, so it was, so it was, was it, hey, it was, was it ice? Was it like an ice comet? It's, it's a, it says it may have been due to a large comet breaking up in the atmosphere or a hailstorm. Ah, okay. Both, I mean, both obviously. Uh, 10,000 people. Like, cause... Ten. That that's one of those. People. That's one of those where, like, God, the power of weather it, it really is something unbelievable. Because, like, Horrifying. if we think, if we if we sort of sort of thinking about hail, like, um, you know, hail generally for me, I hear it on the window, and I look outside, and I go, oh wow, it's hailing. Hailing. That's unusual. Oh wow, look how big they are. Maybe get like Snapchat yeah. up and be like, look at these hailstones. And, and then you're in a house. Yeah, and you just don't have to worry. Exactly. About it. But if they like, I am in the safe zone. Okay, that my safe zone is very clearly defined here, and you know, even if it was dangerous, I'm in my safe zone. All is well. It's like you know, I don't, need, yeah. I don't need to worry about it. Whereas if they then started coming through the roof, and my safe zone is breached, and all of a sudden the safe zone doesn't that exist, is becomes- yeah. whipped out from underneath me, that is terrifying. That is so yeah. scary. You know, this idea say, like, um, it's gone. Yeah, there's a very interesting. Uh, YouTube video I watched recently mm. called Fear of the Cold okay. by uh, Jacob Geller. Okay. Um, a lot of it refers to this kind of idea of like the fear you feel when this safety barrier is broken down. Yes. Where, like, yes. And it, it talks about how, you know, there, there are people whose favorite uh, season is winter, mm. e.g., uh, me. You're um, insane. Go back to episode 11, everyone. Get on I, it. And the only, the, one of the only reasons why they feel that way is because they've never actually had to feel the deathly mm. grasp of the cold. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. And it, it, yeah, it's, it's such an interesting thing. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's easy to separate it, right? And think yeah. like hundreds of years ago, people had to deal mm. with these kind of classicalismic weather events. Yeah. It's like, no. <laughs> we deal with them today. Yeah, it still exists. Um, it's just you know, mo- fortunately for us, we have the barriers in place that present it, mm. prevent it. But like you know, yeah, if a hailstorm happened tomorrow where oranges fell from the sky, I think we'd be in a pretty bad situation. <laughs> if literal oranges started falling from the sky, I mean, I love orange yeah, that- citrus fruits in general. I think are great. So like that would be quite good. Um, hailstones the size of oranges. Do you think you would die? If I dropped an orange off the top of the, the table. Table. <laughs> um, I think, well, what, if it's a penny, you you live, right? You live. Yeah, um, fine. Terminal velocity. Yeah, orange. They're quite spongy, aren't they? 
What about bowling balls? Oh, that's too much. If it started raining bowling... <laughs> Hailstones the size of bowling balls. That would be a problem. I think that would... Like, yeah, that would cause... That would cause, like, the damage. earth to explode. But, um... Yeah. You know... No, I, d- I don't think that would be a good time. Um... I think that, yeah, that that would be... Uh, orange, I'm unsure. Orange is uncertain. Is it... I, the Wikipedia page I'm on right now, list of costly or deadly hailstone, hailstorms... Oh my god, okay. ...is really interesting. Yeah? Because a lot of it is, like, you know... It, it talks about this, like, material damage that's done. Like, mm. here, there's one that happened in Alberta, in Calgary. Mm. Um... A massive hailstorm of tennis ball-sized hail pummeled ne- northeastern Calgary and nearby communities. Mm. Preliminary damage estimates weigh in at least one point two billion dollars. Right? Yeah. That's like wow. That's terrible. Yeah. That's such a large amount of money. And yeah. then there's other ones where it's like this f- freak hailstorm happened and a thousand people died. Insane. In- <laughs> it's like because like, yeah, it it really wow. is like. <laughs> you know, man versus nature here. Like, yeah. in some way, you know, usually when that's talked about, man is very much the bad guy. We're the one cutting yeah. down the rainforest and doing all that stuff. Whereas when it is, in this case, it is very much nature going on the offensive here. And like, us having to often, granted, you know, maybe in, in more recent times because of uh, climate change or, or things that, you know, yeah, humans yeah. have done to the planet. But historically speaking, at the, at the very least, you know, it's just, the, it's just the earth existing in its state and periodically mm-hmm. generating these awful disasters from you know tectonic movements or atmospheric conditions or or any number of factors working together which you know if this if this was like any other planet in the universe like it's just existing whereas we all live on this one and so therefore it like kills us and you know causes massive damage and buildings to come down and lives to be lost and and we have to in this case defend against it you know which um is That's something why we got houses yeah, which is something that like that has, has sculpted civilization from from the beginning. That's the, the reason mm. why we have like houses with walls and ceilings and floors to fight off the cold and the wind and to keep the heat in. And tigers. And tigers and bears. Oh my! Like mm. it, you know, uh, to to fight to fend off nature on just like so I can exist, so I can you know cook my food, you know without having yeah. without it raining on me, you know it, it it's. You know, it's it's always been, I suppose, man versus nature, all the way back to like you know, cavemen living in caves, you know, to protect, to keep warm, and to keep the rain away, and you know, and granted, Not there's something the, killed by watermelon-sized hail. Okay. They, they keep getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Car-sized hail. <laughs> My God, um, <laughs> comets. Yeah, just, but we're back on meteor storms again. You know, is it, yeah, I suppose that is like. Um, Sculpted it. Anyway, it's kind of weird to to discuss this stuff because, like, like, like we clarified very early on, it's it's always like that. There is a seriously destructive and tragic side to weather, like, which oh, yeah. like isn't to be understated here, and also incredibly we're, fun. We're and- very fortunate living in the UK. Mm. Um, obviously, not to say that the UK gets no dangerous yeah, weather. Yeah, flooding and you know, famously, one of it, like flooding happens yeah. like, every year. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but, there's, but know, yeah, definitely relative to goals. a lot of places. Yeah, um, we don't really get like you know, like tornadoes. Yeah, tsunami. And our worst earthquakes are like, oh, you feel that? <laughs> you you wet that one? Wake up last night? Yeah, no, like, so so I suppose yeah, we are we are very fortunate. But um, I, I don't know. What, what, how do you how do you feel then to sort of you know bring it out of this like um the, the dire the, pit the pits with... you know yeah. um where where do you sort of lean preferences wise when it comes to like um. The, the normal, you know, the nice ones, the common the ones, nice the weather. normal ones. I like, do you like well, it to just be temperate all the time? Or do you like, you know, the, sort of like, oh, bloody I hell, know. you see it coming down outside? Or like, look at the snow. You see the snow last night on the, whoa, lightning. I, whoa. I have a habit that my workmates have picked up on. <laughs> um, okay. And it, anytime it rains now, yeah. and if it rains really heavy, yeah. I will just stand and look out the window. <laughs> Like a dog. <laughs> yeah. And my workmates will just look at me. Like, he's doing it again. Um... Should, we, should we disturb him? Nah, no, let him do it. <laughs> let him watch. Honestly, I kind of know what you mean. When I hear it start really heavily raining, yeah. I will like, I'll, like, look over at the window and listen. And then I'll like go over and like lift up the blinds and like peer through. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And then maybe we, like. Because we, we have like corrugated them. roof on oh. the main. Big building, yeah. So you really hear it, and it's yeah. Like, oh, whoa! It's so good, just yeah. hearing the 
I love that. Yeah, and that's the most. That's the most exciting weather we get in the UK. Mostly, it's like yeah. heavy rain. Do you like, do you we like get snow occasionally? That's cool. Yeah, snow's fun. Um, I haven't had any sort of this winter, but you know, fucking climate change. We'll probably yeah, this yeah, June probably looking forward to. You'll never see it again. Yeah. Um, um, but do you, do you like going out in the rain? Um, for like walks I do occasionally, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I like Fran doing that. Loves the rain. She yeah. will if it's raining at all, she'll just be like, "I'm going outside." I'm <laughs> like, "Okay, can't stop her. She's gone." If I'm prepared, I don't like being caught yeah, in the rain. Yeah, I'm. I yeah, I, I don't love getting caught in the rain, and then all my clothes are wet, and I yeah. you know maybe I'm not going home for a little while, and I just have to like deal with it. Yeah, it's always it's, like, a, it's always getting like my hair soaked for me. It's just like yeah. you know now it's like do I need to do I top in the shower now and like yeah you know oh god yeah, like, it, it throws me off. But like if it's like um yeah, do you want to go out in the rain? Like oh yeah, that's that's great. I love voluntarily getting getting soaked. Um and just like me too, but yeah, be, be, being with people I think makes it better. Like you know, if you, yeah, if you ever like been out with friends in the rain and like um, you know, it's just it's just crazy. It's just like there's just something about it, right? It's just something about I can't quite put my finger on the feeling. Yeah, there's some kind of like catharsis or or yeah, or, it's interesting. I don't know where yeah. it comes from. I guess there's, there's a there must be a, a part of the human brain that connects weather like rain with like. You know the the growing of crops and stuff like that, right? There must be some kind of hmm. more evolutionary link where it's like, oh, it's raining, nice. All my like plants are gonna grow. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Um. Uh. So the smell of smell of dust after rain. Oh yeah. yeah. It's called petrichor, mm-hmm. and it is often tied with the evolutionary idea of uh, humans' attachment to water. And knowing where water right. is, yeah, yeah, and so when it's raining, obviously large volumes of water um, creates a dusty, like sort of yeah, scent is a little bit too strong, the, but you can kind of detect the smell it. Smell of rain is yeah. what comes from. Yeah, it's, it's do with like, like um, it's just being the dirt soil. around you. Yeah, 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 and things like like geosin, I think, is one, and um, yeah, the sort of releasing of things from the from the soil, which humans can then sort of mm-hmm. detect with like one of those like crazy evolutionary superpowers that's just sort of like yeah. cr- popped up a few million years ago. And and stuck with us. It was really cool. It's a fun little fun little thing. Yeah, rain probably yeah. is the, one of the most common um, n- normalized. Certainly in in the UK and where we are, uh, one of the most yeah. normalized kinds of weather. But then saying that, like it's crazy how different it differs around around the world. I knew a guy who um, I stood I stood with a guy in in Swansea in Wales from Zambia, and he'd never seen snow before. Yeah. In, in in his eighteen or so years, and it just you know it was like it was like reading about for him you know he'd hear about it like it's just something like something crazy and foreign that like it would never yeah. happen and then it snowed while he was over in the uk studying and he was like oh here it is like this is there it is this is it what happened. it is like yeah yeah which is which is like nice and yeah i suppose it is one of those things where it is very local and subjective depending on where you are in the world yeah anyway thanks everyone for listening <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> I, know, I, mean, I feel like i'm doing a lot of talking thing, i don't know yeah that it, that's the thing right it's it's fundamentally unique to each person right their their own experiences with weather based mm. on their own geographic location and like mm. even like what they've experienced during specific weather phenomenon yeah. and i think that ties us in perfectly harry to yeah. moving on yeah. to everyone's favorites yeah and I'm gonna check the Twitter page. See, I did this. I is, did the same. Is this, this time. the first time in 37 episodes? Yeah, that I I've done the same. I can't. I can't think of it ever happening. I can't. I can't think of a time. I can't either. Um, okay, <laughs> we, got, we got a we got a couple options here. Okay, go on. Um, I'm gonna call this one out just because it's funny considering what we were talking about earlier. Go on, hit me one. Maria is Maria is written in. Thank you. Maria. That's great. Thank you. Uh, saying um, the way hail forms is pretty wild. Come on, Maria. Don't you know hail is terrible? Uh, <laughs> yeah, think about all these how insensitive! Oh my god, <laughs> that's awful. That is, Maria. that is. Terrible. I can't believe you would say that. I actually, I have no idea how hail be. I, yeah, I, I assume it's just like I kind of assumed it the same way that snow did, and then I realized that doesn't make any sense. I have um, genuinely I, meteorology is beyond me. I, I, like I'm looking on the Wikipedia. Yeah, I can't how, find how like, it, I'm a seeing, simple. I'm seeing formation. Okay, I'm just going to Google how is hail formed? Because it it feels like as soon as it becomes ice, it should fall, right? I, man, I know so little about meteorology. I literally don't understand why doesn't rain come down as a bucket? Like why why <laughs> does it why is it in drops? 
What? That's such a good question. I remember we asking this. Know. I remember asking my brother who was doing um, a, a geography degree at the time when I was a child. And mm. I can't remember what he said, but I asked him. I was at a football match and I asked it's my dad. And he said, That's my like brother. The, there's like pressure in the cloud, right? So, like, it's the, the water is updrafted and downdrafted by the cloud itself. So that, that it gets all like mixed up and mixed with air rather than just like, you know, as soon as it becomes a water droplet, it just drops. Okay. You know and what? I assume that must be the same way that hail works. It just keeps getting mixed around, and then it'll freeze us together until it's too heavy. Yeah, it's sort of. Or I'm thinking that like, um, can can it be sort of too cold? If it gets if it gets too cold, it begins to form into ice. Is that snow? Honestly, mm. I feel so unqualified about this. Like, there is the usual: do not use playing favorites to do your homework rule, magnified yeah. by like ten. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Fucking all of this. Wow. I'm really feeling so the two unqualified hail, white dudes part of the podcast. Hail today. happens during a thunderstorm or a thunder cloud, ah, okay. which I guess is when a cloud reaches a specific kind of level of pressure, right? Because yeah. I, I understand thunder as it's when the kind of Ooh, um, like friction electrons, right? yeah, yeah. It, it all kind of rubs together inside of the cloud. The mm. friction then creates this kind of buildup of energy, mm. which is released uh, to the ground. Yeah. Um, uh, which is why they go from like, but it's actually like a meeting, uh, point, right? Yeah, it's like static from the bot, and it all just kind of connects in the middle. Um, I, I'm always sort of seeing like a, there's almost like a sort of convection side of it. I'm, I'm reading this yes, on the metal yeah, yeah. so they get taken those. up by updrafts, and then yeah. uh, obviously the higher up you go, the further away, the colder it gets, and they're taken up so that they 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 freeze, mm. and they get sort of like. <laughs> I'm seeing it quite. As the updrafts in thunderclouds are very big, they can keep these hailstones for a long time. Yeah, well, I don't know how. Age. Well, they're just fucking floating. Yeah, literally. Yes, like, like they are because const- they're pretty light, right? Even if a hailstone, like a big hailstone, falls down to the ground, it's still light. It's not like <laughs> you know madness. I, you know, it's um, so hail is very cool though, uh, and and sort of very. I mean, yeah, the science there, in, in, interesting, ultimately, I, I, you know, um, not something I really fully can grasp, but, like, yeah. you know, the, the actual effects itself, you know, the effect, like, hail falling, clattering into your window, you know, being caught in it is, yeah. I don't know if I've really been caught in hail. I have. How is it? It's uncomfortable. <laughs> um, wow. Uncomfortable. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't get that bad over here. It's not like you're getting buffeted the size by of, lemons. Of, the size of... SUVs. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, it's just like they're like the size of peas for the most part. I suppose. Yeah, um, it's not. Which uh, you know, it, it's annoying. Like it hurts a little bit. Yeah, it's no, not I mean, kill you. Probably. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's I got very unlucky. Yeah, one like goes through your eyeball. Like you look up. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Look at that hail! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh plunges into your skull. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> yeah. What if like? What if there's like? What if there's like an incredibly strong downdraft that like launches the like, hail? Launch like they get shot <laughs> like a yeah, like, yeah, and just you know, Chris, old market square to cave in onto the underground lake, mm-hmm. snownado forms, snownado, yeah, yeah, perfect conditions for a snownado. Terrible that would be. tragedy, absolutely. Are we talking about the closing down of the subway or a snownado? A terrible tragedy. Yeah, both. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think they closed down the subway after the snownado. Probably in theory. I feel like they'd have to out respect. Mm. Ever know. since that guy broke in the front window, yeah. So he could, uh... Oh my god! I mean, I know he had to survive, but like, did he have to make all those sandwiches for himself? Like, he could have given that to survive. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> anyway, um, okay, yeah, the hail, cool. Um, what else we got? Go on, give us another. I can't believe we we got one from Abby here. Thank you, Abby, okay. for writing in. Thank you. Snow. Snow. We've like barely spoken about sm- smoking. Sm- We've barely spoken. <laughs> We've barely spoken about snow. You're not not spoken about S- Snoke. Oh my god. Yeah, no, we've um I mean, it's, it's, it's we touched on it. But you know, I kinda don't have like much in the way of thoughts about snow. It's just nice, isn't really? it? Really? It's, it's just like a nice A lot of people really hate snow. Uh but like a lot of people hate like chocolate. You know, like Yeah, but it's, it feels like more people hate snow than they do chocolate. Yeah, but like, like 
Uh, mm-hmm. Anyone I know who drives hates snow. Obviously, yeah. except for you, apparently. But have yeah. you ever driven in the snow? Uh, yeah, a few times. It's not, you know, it's a little bit like, oh, careful. But like, you know, sometimes I eat chocolate and it gets stuck in my throat a little bit and I have a cough, you know? Mm. You're really getting this chocolate snow analogy. Well, because like, yes, you know, it's just, this is nice. This is nice. Just like snow. Yeah, okay. You know? We just like, it, like, it's just a nice thing. We just like snow. You like snow, okay. Yeah. I mean, I also like snow, but I feel like I do have to play devil's advocate. Okay. Why don't you like snow? I don't like snow. Why don't you like snow? It makes, it ruins everything, doesn't it? You can't get anywhere. Um, Why not? There's snow everywhere. You can't drive because there's snow everywhere. Mm. I suppose in like America they have like, um, and I'm sure in other places beyond the Western snow world. Storms. Yeah, you get snow like I always saw it in like The Simpsons. Yeah, people get snowed in, where they like literally yeah. can't open the front door because like there's some like, and that I always I always longed for that as a child. Like that just seemed really cool. Now I think if that happened to me, I would be deathly afraid. Maybe I think I would still enjoy the novelty, especially though. if it happened in the UK. Yeah, but like I'd I w- be like, ah, okay, we've only got a couple of years left then, huh? <laughs> Damn, Foglet's <laughs> really is speeding up. No, I really do. I feel like the snow. If you're snowed in in the UK. It's like, oh, bloody hell, it's coming down thick and fast. And there's maybe like a couple of inches on the floor. Mm. And you go, oh, look at that. It's more snow than usual. I'm snowed yeah. in. I want to see like, you know. You want to me- see the s- door get sn- Yeah, snow is like so, you know, I know there are obviously in real life, you know, there are a lot of complications, a lot of tragedies and consequences. Yes. <laughs> in my romanticized fantasy, I've been watching The Simpsons since I was young version of this. The idea of there being so much snow, you know, I can't even get through the door and like going upstairs and looking out the window and it's so piled up. Oh my God, look at the garden. It's been submerged. Whoa. In this like fluffy white, like Christmas, Christmas weather. Oh, whoa. You know, seems really cool. That that sort of romanticized idea. Also, I, again, I do really like the snow, but I think sometimes hmm. like I'm really lucky that I haven't had a situation where it's snowed a lot and then I've had to like walk to work that seems like it would be a little bit more difficult than usual because i have i I have like an hour long trek to work yeah and you know i can get the bus but if it snows enough that it's a problem then they won't the buses won't run and i'll just have to walk an hour in the snow up a hill if Um, it snows so much that the buses don't run and it's really difficult to walk in I don't think it's going to be a particularly busy day at work. Like, I don't think... That's a fair point. I could probably just say, like, I can't make it. Yeah. Or, like, you know, sorry I'm 25 minutes late. There was, like, the biggest <laughs> snowstorm ever seen in the UK by the sounds of it. You know? <laughs> I, I had a bit of difficulty getting in this morning. You know, I'm sure it'll be... Point, yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Progress. But I take your point, you know, but it's something to think about. I could ski home, though. Which oh, nice. well, yeah. And, like, interacting with weather. There you go. There's a whole thing. S- like, snowboarding. Do you like sledding? Have yes, been I've been sledding very it's in a very so tame good. way, you know. Like, oh, oh what? there's a little inc- there's a little you know slow bit near near the home. There's like a little. Well, you never like built a ramp. What? What? You never built a ramp. You built a ramp. Not like a big ramp. Like the size of a house. We would no. You got on the we roof would... and <laughs> we would go to our local woods. Okay. Um, and then there was a large hill there, a very large hill. Okay. And there would be set a load of people around, and they'd all be building ramps. Okay. No, they wouldn't. What? They'd all be sledding. Yeah. And then one time we were like, "Yeah, let's build a ramp." We bought an e- built an igloo. What? Um, it wasn't a very big igloo. What? Oh my god! What? I, this is this is a you're living my American dream. I you're am, like kind this of. is. I mean, one, if you're building a ramp, why bo- Why wait for the snow? Why not go sledding in, in summer? Because you make... can't get the speed is the issue. Well, there's too much friction. What are you build- yeah, when you in, say you're building a ramp? Dirt and grass, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So you're not, like, getting, like, wood out and, like, you no, know... No, no. Constructing, like, <laughs> a using, slide. We're using the snow. Okay, I see. No, I never did that. I remember once um, there was a sort of very slight uh, decline near my house. It was like a cycle path. And it snowed once. My dad took me out sledding, and there's like a I had a red sleigh. It was one of those like, um, yeah. you know, as, like as we all did. pull. Yeah, you know, it's like a bit yeah. of rope at the front. Um, and my dad would like pull me and sort of start get onto like a bit of a light jog, and then sort of throw the the sleigh <laughs> the sled like forward, and it would like yeah, keep going for a little bit. And that was really fun. 
and that was really cool. I used to really enjoy it. I ended that once or twice, maybe. That was really fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that a lot. We should go sledding. Is it like a thing next you can time, do? Next time it snows here, yeah. That would be great. I'd love that. But like, where do you where do you go? There's not like any... Anywhere. I, I'm thinking what you need is like you a... Don't need, you don't need to go to like the sledding park. We just go somewhere where there's a hill. Well, yeah, but where are you going to find a hill that big? Well, I, I, I know a few places. Okay, if you, can, if you can hook it up, if you can hook us up, yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. You know, I'll, let's get. I'll see the, what I can do. Um, but otherwise, yeah, no, that would that would be good. So, yeah, snow very fun. Um, snow fun, overwhelmingly fun to the point where when it's not fun, it still feels like I'm kind of being being killed with fun. Like it's, I'm being smothered with wow. fun. You know. Okay. Um, so oh, it's a bit too much. The you know being snowed in because you can't open the door because of all the snow. That's like equivalent to like eating too much chocolate. It's like you know. Oh, that sounds like a bad thing. Yeah, it's like. It's, oh, I'm being smothered with fun now. This is too much. Okay, right, I got you. Man, okay, well, you know what? I think across those, I think we, we've probably, co- we've covered the gambit, right? We've covered the core, like, oh. every, you know. We haven't even talked about, like, the the sun, like, the clear sky, so, but, you know, yeah. The lack right. of weather. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <I'd, laughs> yeah, it's not much to say, really. Yeah. It's, like, the incredibly neutral. It's definitionally neutral, mm. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not something we do in play periods very often is talk about the complete lack of the thing we're talking about that that episode. You know, it's like... Well, it's not the lack of. If the sun is shining uh, and there's no yeah, clouds, it's that's van- it's, still weather. It's vanilla ice cream. It's vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I mean, nothing look, to say about vanilla right. ice cream, you know? But what if it's someone's favourite? If vanilla's your favourite, look, let's move on. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want to get heated. Don't want to get in trouble, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. You know what? Is it time for our favourites, then? We can talk about our favourites, yeah. Um, I want you to talk about yours first. Okay, I actually um, have no idea what my favourite is. You're a bitch. I, I do now, though, I think. Okay. I think is about, it going to be snow? I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about what's it gonna, how am I going to word it on the Twitter poll. Okay, so it's probably not okay. just snow. Got it. I'm locked in. Luke, I'm locked in. Okay. Is it... I have a guess. Is it snow adjacent? No. Because you did seem very... Okay, you're right. Nothing to do with snow. It's not a thing a to do with snow. Skies. Maybe tangentially a thing to do with snow. You could contrive a way... That if it's, it's, if it's, it's hail, snow. you are a villain. No. You know, you could contrive it. it all weather, in a way, is connected. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. My favourite weather... I'm going to go with... Lightning Storm. Is how I'm going to word it. Right. You know what? I want, Luke... Why, why I, not Thunderstorm? You know, come on. Because that's not quite as cool, is it? Like, <laughs> I want the emphasis on the lightning. You know you me. We've done, we've done 37 episodes of this podcast. You know. we, we've known each other for longer than yeah, that, too. But you're right. ex- exactly. But thinking about the things talking about, you know I want, I want to indulge. I want everything. I want, you know, uh, I, want I, I, want, I want caramel in my ice cream. You know, I want, yeah. I want, I want wings on my lamb animal. No, I don't. What's my favorite yeah. I don't. You, you, know what, you, know what, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? I want it, I want to like I want you know it to be nighttime. <laughs> okay. I want yeah. cloud like black clouds overhead, rain mm-hmm. absolutely belting it down to like the yeah. point where it's like scary. I want lightning, <laughs> you know, go like fork lightning, like <laughs> striking. Yeah, with the occasional flash, you can have flashes as well. Oh, you see that? Oh my god! And maybe yeah. if it's nighttime and you're in bed, it kind of lights up a little bit. Not enough to like bring light into the room, but it kind of you can you know yeah. there's light going on, you and so you're like, whoa, has happened, yeah. yeah. And there's like you know huge puddles forming. The road looks like a river. <sighs> there's like um, pits pattering to like sound. the next level. Thunder presumably is going off like that, like <laughs> that, like elongated, like you know, it just keeps going, and it's like. <laughs> The rolling lightning. Yeah, yeah, and it's still going, and like you know, and it's and it's this madness, and like everything's crazy. I want lightning storm. That's what I want. Okay, I like lightning storm. It's your favorite? Uh, a a uh, single cell, a multi cell, <laughs> a super cell. I mean, we talk. We, well, uh, I never knew there were like about. these many different kinds of thunderstorms. All of these. Um, I'm not picky, man. All of these sound so cool. Like. I like the idea of a supercell. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. Rotating. Wild. Yeah, storm yeah. cell. Like, um, I want moving parts, you know? Like, it's got, yeah. this, this one's got, like, like a, a single cell. Like, Have you ever been struck by lightning? Yeah, I, when I was um, on a school trip. No, I haven't. I haven't been, no, I haven't. I have. Them. No, you haven't. 
Yeah, I have. You've been struck by lightning. I've been struck by lightning, yes. No, you haven't. I have. No, you haven't. I have. Have you? No. Ah! <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I knew I could get you. Though. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm happy with my level of resistance there. I'm. <laughs> I remember I remember seeing a TikTok recently on what to do if you're struck by lightning. Let's get down on the ground. Lightning crouch. Gonna yeah. do, get in the lightning crouch position. What is it? Onto the 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 front bit. Like, of feet. I'm pretty sure that's not if you get struck. That's <laughs> okay before you get struck. Yes, it's um. If you think you're gonna get struck, it's it's like. Don't stand near a tree. Oh, I've, sorry, I've, I've, <laughs> I went to type in um, lightning crouch, and it's auto it's auto corrected me to lightning crotch, which is apparently <laughs> a condition perhaps sometimes during pregnancy. Um, <laughs> thunder. Like, yeah, it's it's if you if your hair begins to float because lightning yeah. forms from the ground up um, and yeah. sort of connects. And so if your hair begins to float, you're about to be struck by lightning. So you crouch down into a ball-like position, uh, head tucked, hands over ears. Um, I think your heels are touching as well, maybe? Um, yeah. And you're on the front bits of your feet, and um, it's going to hurt a whole bunch. It's going to literally light up your entire nervous system, and that's going to mm. suck quite a bit of ass, and yeah. um, you'll probably die. But if you don't, you're, it's going to fuck you up. But there's no, there's no positive. This, this is gonna be yeah. awful. But How it's a great story to tell. There you go. Survival odds, survival rate of being struck by lightning. That's funny. I remember seeing a picture on Reddit years ago of a guy who was struck by lightning, and you can see the scars, the burns. Yeah, like, oh yeah, they're, they're... over their entire nervous system. Oh okay, only about uh ten percent of people who are struck by lightning are killed. Really? Mm. Unbelievable! Wow. That's that's kind of wild. I, uh, I, I, it's unfathomable. I can't even begin to comprehend what being struck by lightning must be like. It would probably hurt pretty bad. But like, you know... Uh, up to 80% of survivors sustain long-term injuries. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess like there's, uh, what, cardiovascular things going on there? Like it's gonna... Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing, right? It runs through your nervous system. Yeah. Because your nervous system also runs... Through electricity. Yeah, yeah. Which means most of the time, I think what happens is it just fucking stops your heart. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, I guess if they get it going, then you're fine. Which seems like a generous fine, but... way to go. Yeah. I mean, um, Jesus. Like, that. I just think about the, 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 the subject, like, the sensory experience there. It's a lightning storm going on. It's piercing it down with rain. Either you'd notice the hair thing or probably wouldn't, I assume, would be the If you don't know, it's that's the thing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, there would be. Um, a loud, uh, presumably extremely loud noise, uh, yeah. incredibly bright flash, and you'd mm. be utterly obliterated. <laughs> you know, sort of <laughs> yeah. subject. You know, subject. You even hear the sound. You know, actually, it's probably, it goes off. There's probably too much going whole, on. Isn't the whole thing that? Um, I guess you would hear the sound faster than you would normally. Because the whole reason that thunder and lightning are disjointed is because light is faster than sound. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so you see it and then you hear it. Yeah. But I guess if you're directly underneath it... I don't um, know, do they originate from the same place? Is, is that the thunder yeah, yeah, or something? Yeah. Oh, okay, in that case, yeah, probably... I don't know, maybe... I, honestly, I don't think it would be... I don't think you'd notice the difference. Yeah, <laughs> I, think I think it would all probably, be, it would roll into one. probably be, uh, you know... Yeah. Um, not in a great position. No, it's... um. But light, lightning itself is extremely cool. Like, just by... It's not just, getting struck by it. Not getting struck by it, but just seeing it and, yeah. like... It's very cool, so... I um yeah I would agree. There you go. So um that's my favorite. How similar are you on a similar wavelength? Or are you where are you at? My not really similar. Not really at all. How traditional is it? Not. Not zero. traditional. No, Fu- I've I've never encountered this in my entire fire life. fire whirlwind. No, it's not that. Like okay, it's it's quite rare. Um, it sounds like a plague. Frog rain. Um, not frog rain. No. <sighs> so sure. Before you said plague. Frog rain could have been. Yeah. I was so sure. I don't know. Go I on. Did like, just, frog just rain. get. Just uh, hit me with it. It's blood rain. <laughs> okay. I did see that. <laughs> Which on is a Beanie real Bates. thing. That yeah. Happens. I saw um, it somewhere. It's yeah. not blood. Thank uh, God. Okay. Uh, what is it? Just a. It's like algae in the uh, water cycle. The fuck? What does um, it look like? So it's, it looks like it looks like it's raining blood. 
the fuck? Okay. Imagine it's raining blood. Is this like a contemporary thing? Like, does it happen? This this happens, yeah. Um, okay. There are, uh, like, a lot of the cases that are covered, that yeah. are, like, um, you know, written down, are historical cases, right? Because okay. when it happened then, yeah. it was, you know, oh, shit, this is a dark portent of things to come. Yeah. When it happens now, it's, oh, there's, like, you know, dust in the rain or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they generally don't write it down as much. Um, yeah, okay. But, like, there was one in Germany in... Uh, uh, when was it? <laughs> as if you're reaching for it in your mind. You're like, ah! Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, go on. Right before the Black Death happened. Um, and it was seen <laughs> as, like, this this terrible omen. Important. Right? Of, yeah. And I it's think... just... It's, it's such a wild thing, because I'm imagining being... Like an Anglo-Saxon warrior in like the <laughs> Middle Ages, and, begins, and I'm like yeah. about to go like raid the shores of Normandy, <laughs> and then blood rain happens, and I'm like, oh, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> things are looking good. Bad. Yeah. Um, no, it's fair, just, fair. It's such a wild thing, right? Yeah, it, it sounds like something out of um, fiction. I mean, maybe maybe we'll come back another time for fear of fictional weather. Fictional weather. Um, but yeah, it is like that is really just the extremes of. Of nature, like of of nature is insane. Like what? Well, this is yeah. an actual thing. This isn't a thing in a fantasy book. Like this is real. Like what? It's the real thing that happened. Like that. Yeah. Like that's insane. Like that that exists. That sounds fictional. It sounds made up. Like but it's real. It insane. could happen to you right now. Um, Wait, look, what's that sound at right my window? <laughs> I run <laughs> and yeah, it's like you and you're at work. You imagine that? You definitely go take a look at that one. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, guys. You definitely would be. Oh, that's that's a classic. It'd be you know everyone's oh, there's Luke, look staring out the window. Oh, he's doing his thing. What and the my fuck? eyes have glazed over. <laughs> Wait, what's he? What's he? Luke, Luke. And they look out, and it's the plague rain of, of blood <laughs> running the streets red. Oh my god, yeah, that is extremely dramatic, but very cool. Now I yeah. can I can understand yeah the appeal of that. That is uh, yeah something that. Cool. No, does it? Can it happen I in the UK? Could we get? I like one? it. I think it might. It might happen. Hmm, keep an eye on. I think part of the thing that I like about it is that it is also just rain. Like no yeah, one's it's just a very normal. Like if this ever actually happened, I don't have to worry about being like, oh yeah, I can go like walk around in the rain. <laughs> but also like you know, you know, several hundred people have died from blood rain incidents. Wait, really? The... Really? No. Oh, no, right. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Is I don't have to worry. You about don't that. have to worry about that. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Whereas, like, you know, I don't have to worry about one particularly big raindrop you know, drowning. <laughs> the size of a skyscraper. <laughs> it pierces through my body. Yeah. No, I, uh, yeah, true. So, yeah, it's, it's sort of harmless and interesting and cool. Yeah, no, very good. Yeah, mm. it ticks a lot of boxes. It's good. Um, I do wonder if, like, do you remember a few years ago when, like, everything just went sort of orange for a day or, or a couple yes. of days? That's kind of mad, wasn't it? Did that, that happen anywhere else in the world, or was yeah. that just like parts of the UK or most of the UK? I don't remember. Just um, like everywhere, um, like everywhere, just went. I think it's because of like a dust thing in the atmosphere. Yeah, I everything, think there was some orange rain then. Maybe like, everything just went like orange, sort of for, for yeah. a, maybe a day or a few days. I don't even know how to Google that. I I, um, I I was in sixth form, like I was at you know sort of like seventeen or eighteen. I remember seeing on Twitter, "Red sky at night, shepherd's delight." Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Red sky in the day, shepherd's gone cray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna Google that. That'll give us some. That might, yeah, might lead us onto something. <laughs> I found it. It was on the the 16th of October, 2017. Red Sun Monday. Here we go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. God, what a what a wild. <laughs> is that? Is there no explanation? Is there no? Um. <laughs> yeah. No, no one has said anything. It's all just oh. like pictures of, of if, what happened. Everyone just being caused there. by dust from the Sahara. Yeah, there you go. Right? There was a hurricane. Just so made everything kind of um, orange. Everything like, was a little bit orange. Yeah, kind of mad. Remember when that was like the extent of our worries and not a coronavirus? Wow. Anyway, we, we, we did, did still have climate change back then. No, but, I don't think yeah. we did. Not in twenty seventeen. I think this started it. I think this was God. This was being the first mad. incident of climate change. It was like a plague. <laughs> or, or maybe I'm thinking of palate change, <laughs> which is like you know what we're gonna we're gonna make everything a little bit, a little bit tinted. Just, 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 just take the take the hue slider and just like budget <laughs> along a little bit. Oh, look at that. 
Well, that's great. That's yeah. lovely. So, right, gang. Well, I think that I think that's that's it, right? That's weather phenomenon. Yeah. Phenomenon. Yeah. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Baby, baby. Phenomenon. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope everyone's enjoyed listening to episode thirty-seven of Playing Favorites. Wow. I even do together. Little... It's ten. Three and seven. Yep. He's not wrong. But this isn't favorite math. It's favorite weather phenomenon. I hope everyone's enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. If you want to get in contact with us, we're on Twitter at Play Favorites. Favorite spelled with a U F A V O U R I T E S. We tweet out when we're doing an episode, and you can tweet right back in like a boomerang with your favorite, letting us know what is your favorite thing in that particular topic that we tweeted out, and maybe even get featured on the show. We love to hear from you. It's fantastic. It's a good time for all. You can also email us playing favorites podcast at gmail.com. Again, spelled with a U in the place as it was in the previous one as well. F A V O U R I T E S. Not playing favorites. Podcast do. <laughs> <Gmail. laughs> That's stupid. Um, and you can email them whatever you like with episode suggestions, your favorite weather phenomenon. Um, maybe you took a picture of some weather and wanted to share it with us. Yep. Maybe you've got an explanation for why everything went orange one day. I don't know, whatever it is, we'd love to hear from you. So that's it. That's everything. That's everything to say. Except, I mean, cool. Luke, you got any, any final thoughts? I never have any closing thoughts, and you always ask me. But the answer is I stopped thinking about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so so no no like introspection on weather um i don't know whether or not i'm gonna finish that joke <laughs>